Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. I recently had a request from someone who wanted to do a random pairing of teams for a uh, league that they had and had five teams from one country, five from another, and wanted to randomly pair them, but wanted to make sure that the two teams were from opposite countries, not from the same country. So I'm sure there's a lot of other parameters that could be added to this, but with that simple basic uh, list of, of uh, requirements, uh, let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have 10 teams here, and I chose some hockey team names. And uh, in this list, I have five teams from the U.S. and five teams from Canada, and they're just in a random order. And I've set up two different selection methods here to create a random pairing. In this first one, I created in cell E3 just a ran between a formula that will select um, teams, uh, numbers from 1 to 10, which are associated with the 10 team names. And then in F and G, just did a basic VLOOKUP that based on the team number would insert the team name and the team country. Then in E4, I entered an IF statement where we said if G3 was Canada, then use the choose function to only select ran between 1 through 5 for teams that are 1, 4, 5, 8, and 10. And 1, 4, 5, 8, and 10, as you can see by the list, are all the USA teams. But then if it's not Canada, that would mean that we would do a ran between in random numbers 1 through 5 for 2, 3, 6, 7, and 9. And you can see 2, 3, 6, 7, and 9 are all Canadian teams. So because these are um, volatile formulas, every time you uh, do an entry, it's going to update. So when you hit F9 here, the ran between will automatically um, generate a new number. So here, team number three, the Flames are from Canada, which matches them up with team four, the Flyers from USA. I hit F9 again. Team 8, the Blackhawks from USA, are now matched up with Team 9, the Canadians from Canada. The only difference between the top section and the bottom section is instead of having a ran between to randomly select the number for the first team, you can just enter a number here. So in case you need to find someone for, say, Team 9, I can enter 9, hit Enter, and it will match up a team from another country. So how does this formula work that is in cell E4 and E11? It's a basic if statement that basically is testing cell G3 to see if it is Canada. If it is, then we're going to run this choose function. If it's not, we're going to run the second choose function. So let's take a look at the choose function. If I type equals choose, chooses a value or action to perform from a list of values based on an index number. So if I hit tab, there's the index number and then the various sets of values. So in our scenario, for the first one, our index number, if I click inside here, our index number, sorry, our index number is basically being chosen by the ran between function between numbers 1 and 5. So that will automatically generate a number 1 through 5. Then the value 1 is 1, value 2 is 4, 3, 5, 4 is 8, and 5 is 10. Those are the only ones we use. So depending on what this ran between formula chooses, if it chose number 2, then it would pick the second number in the list, which is a 4. If it chose a 5, it would pick the fifth number on the list, which is a 10. And then again, if G3 was not Canada, it was USA, then it would choose between 2, 3, 6, 7, and 9, which again, those are the Canadian teams. So that's basically how the process works. Again, the only difference between the top section and the bottom section is that 
In the bottom, you can manually enter a number in cell E10, where in the top, we're using the ran between function to do so. So I'm just going to walk through actually creating this formula. I'm going to hit delete to delete it. And I'm going to type equals if tab. And my logical test, does this cell equal Canada? If it does, then I want to use my value of true is going to be the choose function. And in the choose function, my index number is going to be a ran between number between 1 and 5. And then I want those five to be represented by the USA team. So the USA teams are number 1, 4, 5, 8, and 10. So I'm just going to type 1, 4, 5, 8, and 10. I'll close my choose function. And now I'll hit a comma to say, what if my value is false? So if it does not equal Canada, then I want to put the Canadian teams in there. So again, I'm going to enter the choose function. My index number is going to be a ran between, between 1 and 5. And then the rest of my values are going to be the Canadian teams, which is 2, 3, 6, 7, and 9. So I'm going to type 2, 3, 6, 7, and 9. Close my choose function, close my if statement, hit enter, and it again generates the proper number. So if I hit F9, 5 gives me the Red Wings, matches up with the Canadians, a 1 Penguins with the Canadians, a 3 the Flames from Canada matched up with the Red Wings from the USA. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.